Ano ba? 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 Sir, may sasakbo kasi siya. Nag-i-tennis po. I am already one month and a half. Now I believe you. I need this stuff, okay? And that's it. I don't need that stupid b****** things. I know, I know. Enough! Sir, excuse me po. Meron po lumapit sa amin, sir, na naloko din po niya. Tiga Malaysia, sir. Gusto po ang tawagin niya, sir. Gusto po makausap. Okay, okay. Nasabing po yung evidence, sir. Meron po yung Pilipino, sir, na ginaranturan po siya ng utang. Tinakbuhan din po niya, sir. Umabot na po sila sa barangay, pero hindi po sila sinipot. She chat me. She told me she take before she fly 4,800 dirham. She was saving for her child. 68,000 peso. So this is not only me. In the militia, she is crying, calling me. Okay. I can't Let, Let's put her to jail where she belongs. That's that I, I guarantee. Not because me, she hurt other also. Okay. God sent me here okay. to just... Okay. No need. I don't need okay. anyone. You want me to send you to the hospital now? Or the clinic? No. I You're okay? Okay, I'm not going to let you talk to her anymore. The thing is, I was just wanted her to apologize to you. This is... Would that help? Her. Yes, near all. Apologize okay. Apologize. All right. And accept this. And we will uh, exactly. transfer to that lady. Th th that's what I'm trying to do. Lady. That's what I'm trying to do. For her to apologize to you, public apology in front of everybody on air, so that everybody will see that she's apologizing later. Okay, that I'll, that I can do. Kung gusto niyo pong malaman kung saan po dinala yung pera, nandun po sa conversation, sir, ilokano nga lang po. Nakalagay po doon na nagamit po ng magulang po niya yung pera, sir. Andun din po yung resibo na pinadala po ang pera. Okay, let's go. Sa panganganak po, sir, ng ipag po niya. I'll, I'll talk to her. We will take you in the clinic po, ha? You up. You should be shitting on your pants. You should be shitting in your pants right now because you're f***ed up. Come on, girl. Why did you do this? You could have just accepted everything and then apologized. Pinaikot-ikot mo pa tong sitwasyon. Lalo ka ngayon, you're in deep shit, I'm telling you. Because I'll make sure that she's gonna get justice. And justice for her is for you to go to jail. Okay, sir. Now, let's see if you can do this and you should. Apologize to her. You know what? Kanina gusto niya pumunta sa hospital, nanginginig siya eh. I think you owe her an apology. Apologize to her in public for causing her this pain, suffering. Hindi ko mo siya makausap in personal. No, she doesn't want to talk to you anymore. This is what you're gonna do. Mag-apologize ka sa kanya, and then tingnan natin kung patatawarin ka niya. Kasi siguro kung maganda-ganda yung pag-apologize mo, pati ikaw, magtulungan mo siya. Malay! Sa ulo naman siya, siguro. Makumbinsin mo siya na talagang sinsero ka, baka patawarin ka niya. Sige. Pero kapag hindi niya tinanggap yung apology mo, I guarantee you, one zero one percent, you will go to jail and I'll make sure that you'll go to jail. You understand? So mamaya, mag-apologize ka na lang. Dami niyang ebidensya. Meron pa palang ebidensya na yung pera mga kinuha mo sa kanya at saan napunta? Nakalagay dun, sir. Kahit daw po makaipon lang po ng 300,000, sabi po niya dun mismo, nakalagay mismo, sir, word by word. Sabi po niya dun, makaipon lang kayo ng 300,000. May maipakita lang kayong kotse pag uwi niya, ako ng bahala sa lahat. Na kung saan daw po dun dinala yung pera. Tapos sabi po ng nanay niya sa kanya, huwag ka na kasing magsinungaling. Sabihin mo na sa amo mo yung totoo kasi pati kami dinadamay mo sa pagsisinungaling mo. Tapos sir, sinisigaw-sigawan niya pa po yung nanay niya sir para mag-loan ng bangko. Sabi po ng nanay niya, paano ako pag-loanin ng bangko? Nakita mo bang itsura ko? Pabalik-balik sir, nagmumotor pa para mangutang para sa kanya. Alam mo ba sir, sabi niya sa amin, na kayo daw po ang naglubog sa kanya, kaya daw po siya nawalan ng pera sa Malaysia dahil inubos daw po ninyo. Kayo po ang tinuturo niya na masama sa amin, kaya po namin siya kinupkop, na-upload ka, di ba? May uncle ka sa Tarlac pero hindi ka umuwi sa Tarlac. Kinupkop ka namin dahil sabi mo, lahat ng pamilya mo pera lang ang habol sa iyo. 
Yan po ang sinabi niya sa amin. Mm-hmm. Kaya po kawawa po ang magulang ninyo. Kawawa po ang magulang ninyo. Kinakampiyan to, inahas ka pa rin to. Meaning, tinaydor ka niya. Immediate na naramdaman mo na ikaw ay ginamit niya sa kabila nitong napakabait na sister. At patunay dyan, sinamahan mo siya rito. Gusto mo ipaglaban siya. Na ang hindi mo pala alam na bago mo ginawa to, sinabi niya ikaw ang dahilan kung bakit siya nalubog sa utang. Ano yung pakiramdam nun? Na yung kapatid na gusto mong tulungan ngayon, eh noong pa pala tinatridor ka na anong pakiramdam mo doon? Gusto ko lang reaction mo. Uh, bilang kapatid sir, syempre masakit pero okay lang sir kahit yun sabihin niya oh, ako basta si Lord na lang bahala anong ipukul sa akin okay lang kasi eh, alam ni Lord yung totoo yun na lang po sir mamaya mag-apologize ka sa kanya make it good make it sincere at kapag nakita ni Miss Manar na sincere ka then let's see not only about money Okay, sir. It's the character. Okay, sir. Dito nakita ko yung klase ng character mo. Okay, Kanina yes. doon sa baba, muntik mo na ako ma-outsmart. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Really? Okay, sir. You had me believe in all the other stuff. Kasi I have to ask those hard questions na ayaw niyang tanggapin at gusto lang mag-walk out kanina ni Miss Manar. But I have to ask that to prove na yung sinasabi mong girlfriend mo siya. Okay, sir. That's my way of ferreting out the truth. Para malabas yung katotohan, I have to extract as much information as possible. Yes, sir. And those information you fed me, yung play planted mo, sinadya mo para papabor sa iyo ako and the public opinion. Kaso na bumalik sa iyo eh, sumemplang pabalik sa iyo, tinamaan ka. Kung baga naghagis ka ng bato, hinagisan ka ng halong blocks, pabalik. There's nothing wrong fantasizing. Pero hanggang doon lang, yung sa iyo, yung fantasy mo, na imposibleng mangyari, ginawa mo ng paraan sa isang evil way. Okay, sir. To the extent of harming her and her children. And despite that, she saved you from a lot of trouble. Pwede siya magsumbong eh, yung hinilahila mo siya, plus yung nag-away kayo, yung... Pwede kanyang gawa ng ganong issue, paniniwalaan siya. Kasi yung husband niya is citizen doon. Mas papanigan nyo kaysa iyo. Pero hindi niya ginawa. Why? Naawa siya sa iyo. Now, ang nangyari kasi, parang na-misread mo siya. Ang tingin mo, may gusyos sa iyo. Yun ang yung fantasy mo eh. Yung kabaitan niya, pinagsasamantalahan mo. Yung nangyaring scars niya doon, sir. Hindi ko po ginawang in-scar, sir. Dahil hinagaw niya po sa akin, inukuha ko po yung cellphone ko, but the accident po pong naisagi niya sa may pintuan. I don't think I'm gonna believe you. Okay. Believe Actually, you. kaya nangyari po yun, pinipigilan niya pong pumasok sa kwarto. Kasi nagpapasok po siya ng tatlong Pilipino. Nag- iba, umamin iba na po sa amin yun. yung Pilipino, sir. Iba, marami pa tita, yes, sir. Marami, Lalaki marami po. Pa. Sir, nagpapasok po siya ng tatlong Pilipino nang hindi po alam. Nasa loob po ng banyo, sa kwarto po ng kapatid niya, sir. Yung isa po, sir, si Mika Miss lang. Inamin na po sir nagsosorry kaya sinabi daw po kasi niya dahil siya daw po ang boss sa bahay na yon kaya daw po pwede siyang magpapasok. Sinabi ni Mika yon nandiyan ang screenshot. Ba't mo ginawa yon nang walang paalam sa boss? Yun nga sir. So yun po talaga yung pagkakamali. Sinabi na namin sir on the spot. Yun, yun talaga yung pagkakamali. The... Malaking pagkakamali oh, kung, kung ginawa mo sa akin yun, akong amo yes, mo, sir. baka tinadya kang kita palabas ng bahay. Yes, baka binalibag yung, na kita. Ikot ko sa kanya sir na ipakauwi mo na lang kami in port. Pero sabi niya, talagang may nga. Now, Tawa nga siya sa'yo kasi napakabait niya. Ngayon, ang basa mo doon, oy, may gusto sa akin to. Hmm, kasi nga, ayaw akong pakulong. It so happened na super bait siya. Kaya nga sinabi ko sa kanya nung last Friday, pag sobrang bait ang tao, pinagsasamantalahan. At ikaw yun, doble. Thank you, sir. Na-appreciate ko yung pagpunta mo rito at sa inyo, ma'am, ko hindi dahil sa inyo, eh, hindi sana lumabas yung katotohanan. Sa totoo lang po, nagkakasakit na rin po ako dahil dito eh. Bakit? Eh, sir, na-stress din ako eh. Umiiyak lagi, gabi-gabi yan eh. At alam na sir na, na, na hindi naman namin sila kaano-ano. Iniwan niya po yung problema sa bahay namin. Tapos ayaw ko lang sa'yo. Kung sino man nanonood, OFW rin ako. Sabi ko, sinabi ko sa'yo noon pa. Pabuti nga ako, kumakain ng maganda eh. Sa totoo lang. Inanfollow nga kita eh, kasi imagine mo, saan ka makakakita ng katulong araw-araw, nagbibidyo, nagluluto, tapos pinapakain mo yung sarili mo. Samantalang kami sa ibabaw ng, right, ng washing machine kumakain. 12 years po ako sa Hong Kong, sir. 12 years ako sa Hong Kong, sinabi ko na sa'yo, wala ka kasing maikumpere. Eh. Ang payo ko sa'yo, JC, sabi ko nga, kinakausap kita kahapon, sabi ko, kung ikaw ba, gusto mo ba talaga na matapos ito? Sinabi ko sa'yo, sabi ko sa'yo, pwede. 
Tinanong ko na si Manar, sabi niya, kung hihingi ba ng sorry sa'yo si GC. Sabi ko sa kanya, patatawan mo, sabi niya, yes, why not? Oh. Sinabi ko sa'yo yon ang sabi mo sa akin, kasi tita, na, nakalat na sa buong mundo ang kahiyan ko, ang pamilya ko. Bakit kita pinoprotektan kahapon? Kasi alam ko, lalabas lahat yan at ikaw ang talagang, di ba ma'am, nagpost ako, pero yung post ko maganda ma'am. May caring sa kanya yung post ko. Kung gusto ka namin siraan, JC, alam ko ang bahay ng, ng pamilya mo sa Tarlac. Alam ko kung paano ipipm ang ate mo. Bakit? Binibigyan pa rin kita ng chance na magsalita by yourself. Aminin mo ang kasalanan mo, aminin mo ang totoo. Actually, ako, sinasabi ko na sa inyo na to, hindi totoo na may pera siyang investment. Ang investment sinasabi, di ba, pinautang lang niya. Wala ka naman talagang pera. Why? Magkwentahan tayo. Ilang taong ka sa, sa dua? Ilang taong ka? Six months? Pagkano sweldo mo? 25,000? 150,000? Nakikibagbarkada ka. Asan ang half million mo? Asan ang 250 na sinasabi mo? Sinabi niya po kay Mang Malas. See? Nakita namin lahat ng conversation mo na nagpinipilit mo ang nanay mo. Ang nanay mo nagpapakaawa sa'yo. Tama na, JC. Ang barkada mo, ang ganito po, ang bisyo mo. Tama na, JC. Kahit magbildildil kami ng asin. May sinasabi siya sa amin kanina sa baba na siya raw ang bumibili ng sarili niyang pagkain. Pati pagkain daw ni madam niya, pera daw niya. Kasi wala nang pambili ng pagkain sir, si madam niya. Ganito po nangyari, sir. Ito na lang pong video sa timeline ng pagpo-post niya kung paano siya magluto sa loob ng bahay at kumain ang magsasabi kung gaano po kasarap ang buhay po niya doon. Paano kasarap? May video yes, ka niya. Uh, oh. Tapos sir, umiinom pa po siya sa, sa bahay. Ha? Yes, sir. Umiinom ka sa loob ng bahay ng Pero boss mo? Yes. Yes. Jusel, paano kayingi ng tawad mamaya? Okay. Uh, pakicheck niyo nga kung okay na si Miss Manar. Papahinga po sir. Okay. Okay na BP niya. Sabihin mo kay Miss Manar kung ready na siya, she will apologize on national TV. When you apologize, pag nagsumbat ka sa kanya, ikakat kita. I'll cut you off. So, ang gusto ko lang doon, mag-apologize ka, sabihin mo yung kasalanan mo, at ba't mo nagawa yun, pero walang pagsisisi against her. Dahil kapag hindi, puputulin ko. Halisin ko yung mic sa'yo. Okay? Then, let's see. Pag nakita ni Miss Manar na sinsero ka, pinatawad ka niya, di... Pasalamat ka. Sir, paano po niyan gusto pong magsampa ng staffa nung tiga Malaysia, sir? Nasa akin po lahat ng evidence. Ay, ibang usapan yun. Kung halimbawa pinapatawad siya ni Ms. Manar, eh yan, iba yan. Gusto nga din pong magpa-pound patch ngayon, sir. Naghihintay po sa Malaysia. Eh. Pilipino. Willing po, yes, sir. Magsalita. Si sir, kinawawa daw po yung nanay niya po, 70 years old. At dito po sa akin, ebidensya, pirmado po niya, kontrata. Siro, eh, kay madam mo na sir, bago po okay. yan. So, inamin mo yung dito, ngayon? Isa po, diyan po sir, ate. Isa, isa, isa. Kasi, isa. Basta ibayin kay madam, tapos oh, siyempre, meron pa isang Malaysia. Pero ito sa Malaysia, may issue ka rin dito. Yeah, yan po, meron po yung hinako na issue sir. Pero, oh, isi kay, yan sir, set aside mo natin kay madam. Okay, kay madam muna. Sige, pero inamin mo na meron ka issue dito sa taga Malaysia. Na pera ang issue. Tama, tulad sinasabi okay, niya. Sir, Magkano? Sir, 1,500 ringgit, sir. Magkano sa pesos? Uh, para, hindi ko pa alam ang conversion, sir. sir. Ito po yung kontrata, sir. Na, ginamit niya po yung passport number niya. Ito po. Ginarantoran siya, sir. Sa ano, kasi po, ano siya, sir? Illegal siya sa Malaysia. Tapos, sir, ang kumukupo sa kanya, yung girlfriend niya na Ella, ang pangalan. Mm. So, ito, sir, pinautangan po siya. Pinautangan po siya. Ginarantoran lang siya, sir. Kaso, sir, umuwi na ng Pilipinas. Ito na nagbayad. Naku, kawawa Masa naman. Sige, papasukin na ulit Manar. si Manar. Naimatay. Itong si Miss Manar, ngayon okay na. Miss Manar, I have to apologize to you for asking those hard questions. I apologize. It's part of my job to extract as much information as possible so that the truth will come out. I was just doing my job. I hope you understand. Now, the truth came out. And the truth is, this girl is a f***ing liar. And she has something to say. I'm really sorry, madam, what happened. I'm really sorry. Yes, I'm really sorry. Forgive me what, uh, yeah, what I'm telling, what I say. I'm really sorry. That's it. That's it. I'm really sorry, my love. About what sorry exactly you mean about the money or about the things or about when you were photoing me by purpose and sending to someone? It's up, you know, Everything? Huh? Sorry, that's it. Okay, for I know, you know what's not, but I'm really sorry what I've done, madam. Sorry, sorry. It's a big mistake, madam. I accept everything. What you want now to do? You want me to put in the jail right now? I will accept. I will. We will accept everything. What you want? You will accept the punishment. <laughs> yes. That will be imposed what, by what you court, want? Uh, okay. which is you going to jail. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is what I'm really sorry for everything. 
she's ready to go to jail. That's what she's saying. Yes, there are people also, two people, two persons. There are two other people. Yes. Two other persons. Uh, uh, there is in UAE, she contacted me and she's saying that she was saving her money for a, her son, her kid, 68,000 peso. And I was shocked. Uh, Why? Yes. She said before she fly. And another one suddenly sending me in Malaysia. She's, she's saying my mom is 70 years old, 70. And she's trying to find a job because she also take a money and she ran away from Malaysia. Yeah, yeah. She already yeah. told me that. But she explained so it to me. there are other also people. Yeah, I know. There are two other people. That was already mentioned to me okay. while we were on break. You can now, apologize for them also. Yeah, okay. Uh, Go ahead. Apologies. Tagalog lang, sir. Tagalog. Sa lahat po nang nakawad ko nang hindi mabuti patawarin niyo po sana ako. Sorry po. Willing po akong i-accept kung ano pa po yung punishment po na nangyayari sa akin ngayon. So, wag niyo sana po i-kuhan yung pamilya ko, yung dala-dala kong apelyedo. Ako lang po, ako lang po, wala po silang kinalaman sa 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 kagawang ko to. Ako lang po, ako lang po talaga. Wala kami, ako lang po nakakaalam sa lahat ng to. So, sorry po sa inyong lahat and most of you, I really sorry. I really sorry. And thank you for everything. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, madam. What is your reaction, Ms. Manar? Even till now, I'm just afraid of her. I still feel that her story is really, she really feel sorry. You, you, you mean she's that sincere? Yeah, I, I just, like, because she, several times she was telling me every time for, when she asked me for forgiveness, she's doing like that. And I forgive, 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 forgive. So she's like a professional scammer, so saying sorry is just a piece of cake for her. And then after Remember this, then she's going to... She's FBI, gonna madam, pull someone again. The FBI, I asked and apologized. Remember sorry. when the four people were in my house? I, re I removed that record. Remember? You cow, you cry. You was almost back. I said, no. Don't bow. You will bow for your God. I am not a God. I will forgive. Your four people, three people. I say, no, people. You are my guest. Come drink tea. One was included, man man in my house i never enter man in my house man and what i say politely because they are my guests they they was almost crying he's shaking like this i say yes he have family and then i say i will not it's okay them put, that after what i i take them i they were going out i say it's 14 49 degree outside it's hot come and you will not find a car here a taxi so come sit in my luxury car. I will drop you. And you did that? And I did. Did I do? You we did all them. together. After I take you, that nothing happened, and we meet the kids. This is it. I forget. And she cried. That's why. And now she's, you really feel sorry for everything. This is lesson for you or no? So big lesson. For another people, when you will meet for the future, Will be a lesson to you or no? Yes, uh, it will be, madam. A big lesson, yes. you are sure? Yes, madam. So, you used to her crying all the time? Yes, I see a lot of time. So, she's a so good crier. Sir, she also Sorry, cried in the I NBI. Sorry, she also yeah. cried. Manar doesn't, Mom Manar doesn't want During to the NBI anymore. interview? Yes, sir. And she admitted that it's all her illusion in front of the NBI, sir. Yeah. That, illusion? Yeah, she was to be the bosses? Yes, yeah. And Girlfriend. at the same time, that's, uh, that's why I talked to her. Stop uh, messaging her in WhatsApp because I think she can forgive you. Because when we go outside, sir, she went to the motorcycle, she sat yes. down, and then Ma Madam Manar went back and say goodbye, don't hurt yourself, don't drink and drive, don't kill yourself. She said that, sir. That's why I told her, I'm sir. I'm still stop. waiting to forgive because I, and then when we go in the past, I say, why she didn't say to in front of all people? After when I come back, someone sending me, see, why you forgive her? Why you didn't put her in jail, your friends? See, she's still talking. She's crazy. Yeah, she is want to, I say, what? Madam. Then I said, enough. It did be a right. You right. didn't even tell them that you are guilty. <laughs> Okay, so, Miss Manar, what do you want us to do now? Would you forgive her or would we'll just continue the case in the court case so that she goes to jail? Yes. Okay, because good. there are other people included, exactly. not only me. That's what I thought. That's and what she I thought. Apologized to she has to pay the price for the wrongdoings. No doings. more talks. Mm. No more talks. 
everything clear, peace life, peace mind. Yes. We will get everything. That's it. Okay. She apologized to you. Apologies accepted, but she still has to go to jail. Good. Good. Very clear. Okay. Okay, sir. And after this, no more talks. Social medias, talking here, spreading here. No. Now, till now, maybe she have uh, my uh, pictures that's uh, accidentally. But yeah. Now, hold on. She has a lot of your pictures. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Selfies. I've seen it. She showed it to me. See? Sir, she, she signed uh, an affidavit stating that she already deleted everything. Mm -hmm. And it was and explained to her that if she will not delete everything, yes. they will file prejudice to her, sir. sir. Perjury. Perjury yes. pala. Oh, Sorry, sir. oh Perjury. I can be a witness. She showed me a lot of pictures of both of you. So then, I had another case of perjury against her. And I'll be the witness. I'll witness it. Oh, my goodness. Patong pato ng kaso mo, iha. Yes, Oh. oh, so perjury. Isang kaso mo sa NBI. Okay. Pinakita mo sa akin. Yes, sir. I contacted Sir Brian now, sir, uh, sir, to confirm. And she said, yes, she will be liable. I confirm, sir. If she will not, if she did not, did not, pag hindi daw po, Tagalog na lang, sir. Pag hindi daw po niya dinilit. Why did you fantasize of all people in Dubai, your boss, as your girlfriend? Is it because she, she was too kind and too generous to you. Was it the reason? And you mistook that as her liking you, as having crush on you? Okay, sir, yeah, I think. Okay. Because you were too kind to her and she thought that gesture was a sign of you liking her a lot. So it means uh, everybody I love. Exactly, that's what I told you last week. Remember Friday? Do not show too much kindness to a certain person because that person might mistook that as a sign of you liking that person just like what happened here with this girl this is a lesson big lesson for me yes madam thank you so lesson much learned. for this lesson and for everybody also they now they will know that they have to be not too kind too much same like me <laughs> Okay, yeah, I will accept everything with them. What you is uh, thank you so much for uh, everything. That's it. I'm really sorry for uh, what I've done, and thank you so much for the good memories and uh, yeah, your kind. Everything. Why did you use good memories? What memories do you have? With you, thank you for the good memories. Thank you for being so kind. Yeah, yes, that's what you meant. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Because there were no good memories, only bad memories as far as the madam is concerned. Okay, sir. There were no good memories, only deceit and you being a traitor. You know Judas Iscariot? You look like Judas Iscariot. The one who sold Christ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, ah, she's the one. She sold you. To all the people telling the people that she's my girlfriend. Exactly. She's the Judas of your life. You're okay now? Yeah. Okay. Don't be scared of her. She's gonna go to jail. No need to worry about her. Okay. Maybe this is a lesson for you. This, you apologize to her, she accepted it, but you still have to go to jail. Right? Okay, finish. <laughs>